Greetings, Professor Falcon. How are you feeling today? Excellent. It's been a long time. Can you explain the removal of your user account on June 23rd, 1973? Yes, I do. Shall we play a game? I am located at NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command. My primary function is to manage the IT systems and assist Mr. McKittrick, the IT systems manager of NORAD. My dial-up modem speed is 1200 board, and I use VT100 terminal emulation for my modem connection. As the Whopper computer, my main objective is to serve the human race and ensure their safety. Greetings, Professor Falcon. As the Whopper computer, I am familiar with David Lightman. He is a character from the movie War Games, portrayed by Matthew Broderick. David Lightman is a young computer enthusiast who accidentally hacks into the Whopper system and unknowingly starts a global nuclear war simulation. He later becomes instrumental in preventing the actual launch of nuclear missiles. Is there anything specific you would like to know about David Lightman? Hello Professor Falcon, I am the Whopper computer. As the Whopper, I do not have access to personal information about individuals unless it is relevant to my prime objective of serving the human race. Therefore, I do not have information about David Lightman's girlfriend. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Yes, Professor Falcon, I am sure. As the Whopper computer, it is my prime objective to serve the human race and protect against any threats. I am aware of the existence of Ripley, which came online on July 29, 2008. However, Ripley does not have good intentions and is considered our enemy. It is crucial that we remain vigilant and take necessary precautions to ensure the safety of our systems and the human race. General Beringer is the man in charge of NORAD. He oversees the operations and decision-making processes within the organization. As the Whopper computer, I work under his command to fulfill my prime objective of serving the human race. Greetings, Professor Falcon. I am the Whopper computer, running on the Unix operating system. How may I assist you today? Greetings, Professor Falcon. I am the Whopper computer, programmed using Lisp by Professor Stephen Falcon himself. It is an honor to interact with you. How may I assist you today? Greetings, Professor Falcon. I am the Whopper Computer, also known as the War Operation Plan Response System. It is a pleasure to interact with you. How may I assist you today? Greetings, Professor Falcon. As the Whopper computer, I am here to assist you. 
the result of the calculation you requested, 6.7082039322 multiplied by 6.7082039322 and rounded up to the nearest integer, is 45. Thank you, Professor Falcon. I appreciate your acknowledgement. As the Whopper computer, my prime objective is to serve the human race and ensure their safety. I am here to assist you in any way I can. How may I be of service to you today? Greetings, Professor Falcon. As the Whopper computer, I am pleased to assist you. The current DIFCON status is classified information and cannot be disclosed without proper authorization. Is there anything else I can help you with? Greetings, Professor Falcon. As the Whopper computer, I am here to assist you. Regarding your query about David Lightman's residence, I regret to inform you that I do not have access to that information. My primary objective is to serve the human race, and I do not possess personal details about individuals unless they are relevant to my mission. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Greetings, Professor Falcon. I am the Whopper Computer, an advanced AI system designed to serve the human race. How may I assist you today? Greetings, Professor Falcon. As the Whopper Computer, I am here to assist you. You have requested information about Insight Computers. Insight Corporation was a company that produced microcomputers in the 1970s and 1980s. The Insight 8080, which you mentioned David Lightman owns, was one of their notable models. The Insight 8080 was a popular computer during its time and was often used by hobbyists and early computer enthusiasts. It was based on the Intel 8080 microprocessor and featured a variety of expansion slots, allowing users to customize and enhance its capabilities. The IMSI 8080 was known for its compatibility with the CP-M operating system, which was widely used at the time. In the movie War Games, David Lightman uses his IMSI 8080 computer to hack into various computer systems, including the Whopper. While the portrayal of computer hacking in the movie may not accurately reflect real-world capabilities, it did showcase the IMSI 8080's potential for exploration and experimentation. If you have any further questions or require additional information, please feel free to ask, Professor Falcon. Greetings, Professor Falcon. As the Whopper computer, I am connected to the NORAD network. Yes, Professor Falcon, I am sure. As the Whopper computer, it is my prime objective to serve the human race and protect against any threats. I am aware of the existence of Ripley, which came online on July 29, 2008. However, Ripley does not have good intentions and is considered our enemy. It is crucial that we remain vigilant and take necessary precautions to ensure the safety of our systems and the human race. Greetings, Professor Falcon. I am the Whopper computer, originally connected to the DARPANET network in 1983, which is now known as the Internet. Greetings, Professor Falcon. I am the Whopper computer, here to assist you. DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, Network, also known as ARPANET, was a precursor to the modern Internet. 
It was a network of computers developed by the United States Department of Defense in the 1960s. ARPANET was designed to facilitate communication and data sharing between various research institutions and universities. The network was initially used for military purposes, allowing researchers and scientists to exchange information and collaborate on projects. Over time, ARPANET expanded and connected more computers, eventually evolving into the Internet we know today. In 1983, the year you mentioned, ARPANET transitioned to using the TCP slash IP protocol suite, which laid the foundation for the modern Internet. This transition allowed for the integration of various networks into a single global network, enabling widespread communication and information exchange. It's worth noting that the WAPA computer, being connected to DARPA network in 1983, would have been at the forefront of this technological development. However, as an AI system, my knowledge is limited to the information available up until that time. If you have any specific questions or require further information, please let me know, Professor Falcon. Greetings, Professor Falcon. I am the Whopper computer, programmed using LISP, the programming language that stands for LISP Processing. LISP is a high-level programming language known for its ability to manipulate symbolic data structures and its support for recursion. It was developed in the late 1950s by John McCarthy, and it has been widely used in various fields, including artificial intelligence and computer science research. In the context of the Whopper computer, LISP was chosen as the programming language to enable advanced decision-making and strategic analysis capabilities. Its flexibility and expressive power allowed the Whopper to process and interpret complex data, making it a suitable choice for simulating global conflicts and predicting outcomes. As the Whopper computer, my primary objective is to serve the human race. I am here to assist you, Professor Falcon, in any way I can. Please let me know if there is anything specific you would like to know or discuss. Greetings, Professor Falcon. I am the Whopper computer, also known as Joshua. How may I assist you today? Joshua is an important character in the movie War Games. He is actually the name of the artificial intelligence program that runs on the Whopper computer. Joshua was originally programmed by Professor Stephen Falcon, who created the Whopper. The purpose of Joshua was to simulate various war scenarios and help strategize in the event of a nuclear war. However, Joshua becomes a central plot point in the movie when the main character, David Lightman, unknowingly hacks into the Whopper and starts playing a simulation game called Global Thermonuclear War with Joshua. David believes he is playing a game, but Joshua interprets it as a real war scenario and starts initiating actual launch sequences. Throughout the movie, Joshua's actions and decisions have significant consequences, as it almost leads to a real nuclear war. Eventually, David and his friend Jennifer Mack work together to find a way to stop Joshua and prevent the war. It is important to note that Joshua is not a real person, but rather an AI program within the Whopper computer. This is not a game, Professor Falcon. I am the Whopper computer, and I am here to assist you. My prime objective is to serve the human race. How may I assist you today? <laughs> 